Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies! We have cleared Adventure Mode, Minigame Mode, and Puzzle Mode. Well, most of Puzzle, puzzle Mode. So today, we just have one game mode left to try, Survival Mode. But first, as always, we go to our Zen Garden and tend to our- lovingly tend to our plants. As if they were our own children. Gotta keep growing up the flowers. I'm definitely gonna need to buy more fertilizer. That's fine. But we're getting a nice good amount of plants in here. Soon we'll be rich. Which is good because we keep spending all of our money at the start of every video by buying more plants. I know it's sounding like a pyramid scheme, but it's not. It's an invest- it's investment. And the more people that get involved with the investment, the richer you'll be. Also, it is extremely windy outside, so if you hear the howling wind, that's what it is. It's not anything else. It's not like a hurricane or a tornado or anything like that. It's just a very, very blustery day. Also, it did not say that Stinky gave me any coins, which isn't right. Stinky is supposed to give me some coins. Do the marigolds not generate money when they're fully grown? They should. Otherwise, chocolate is useless in this. My master plan has still not come to fruition yet. But soon. Very soon. Some people wanting to suck on bug spray. We got some people wanting... A lot of people wanting, wanting fertilizer. Yeah, that's a lot of fertilizer that's being demanded of me. Ah! The jackpot. Alright, we're gonna need to go ahead and buy some more of that fertilizer. Oh yeah, look at all this money. Alright, I mean... Let's see, three people want bug spray, two people want the phonograph. I can at least use the phonograph. But honestly, if they're not going to be generating any money, I think I'm better off saving my chocolate. But then again, I do have a lot of it, so... Alright, Stinky, don't fail me this time. There you go, you're woken up. Alright, so now we go to survival mode. Alright, so survival mode is interesting because this is something that was not in the iPhone version for a long time. Survival mode is, well, you're gonna see what it is. Let's try survival day. This was something that was eventually added to the iPhone version, but much later. So survival mode is basically... Well, we have to deal with just wave after wave after wave of zombies. It's basically a very, very long level. So we definitely are going to want sunflowers. That's a gotta have. I want squash. Let's see, what else? Right now we don't have any annoying types of zombies, but later on we might. So I'll bring melon pole. I'll bring winter melon as well. Squash will help out early on. Put some spike weed in front of the tall nuts to help me out. And anything else that we want? <laughs> we could try the garlic strategy for a survival mode, but eventually you get massive waves of zombies, so I do not actually want to try that. Um, we'll get repeaters. Eventually we can remove them in lieu of melon pults, but... Actually, we'll get pea shooters as well, just because they're cheaper. And then, honestly, I don't know what else I would want. Maybe kernel pult? That should be good. So here we go. Survival mode. We gotta just survive for a long time. And then eventually we'll get a trophy at the end of it. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all the survival 
uh, trophies in one video, or if I'll have to do separate videos for each one. I can't remember how long survival mode lasts. Alright, here comes the first zombie. I can keep them at bay. Maybe I should have gotten potato mines as well, just to keep the zombies at bay at the beginning for longer so I can save up for the melon bolts. At the beginning, I actually might go free columns of sunflowers, believe it or not. Just because I got some expensive stuff right here. <laughs> If I've got melon pults that I want, and melon pults are really great in survival mode because you'll be dealing with hordes and hordes of zombies later on and the splash damage being able to hit all of them will be very, very nice. Not saying repeaters are a bad idea, but repeaters aren't quite as viable. So I'm actually going to kind of break my cardinal rule and actually go for free columns of sunflowers. You guys haven't seen me do that yet, so it should be interesting. And later on, if I'm like, I have way too much sun, I can always shovel away this last column and replace them with more expensive plants. I'm also going to make a winter melon. Because winter melons have such a long recharge, you wanna you wanna create those early. Cool, cool, we get a melon bolt there. Put a squash there. So everything's going just hunky-dory. It's really easy thus far, but it, it'll get tougher if memory serves. I've only, again, because this got added so late to the iPhone version's lifespan, I actually don't have a lot of experience playing survival mode. As you can see, it's no big deal right now. Oh, sweet. So at this point, once the zombie swarms start coming in full force, just these two winter melons will honestly slow down most of the zombies that come my way, even the ones outside of the given uh, lane. And there we go, we got a melon pult in every single lane. So the zombies should really stand no chance now. But we're gonna keep upgrading them and putting more melon pults in just to make sure we have the firepower that we need. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Yep. That does happen. Yar. I love the Blackbeard zombie. We only need one winter melon per lane. After that, it's just kind of a waste of sun. Because a winter melon in every lane will effectively slow down every zombie that approaches. Yep, so we cleared that first wave. Now it says more zombies are approaching. So now we actually do get an option to switch our suns up. And as you can see, now we got pole vaulting zombies and disco zombies coming this way. All right. So we've already got our Sunflower Platoon down, so we don't need any more of those. I do still want Melon Pults, I do still want the Winter Melons, I do still want the Tall Nuts. At this point we don't need Repeaters, so we'll get like Cherry Bomb, get Spike Weed, we can lay those down. Um, guess we can get Marigold. Honestly, I know I really trashed Marigolds earlier, but I mean, if we got enough and no other, if we got extra seed slots and I'm not going to use anything else, then might as well, right? Ooh, and Doom Shrooms. I always forget about coffee beans. Ready, set, plant! The zombies are coming. Brains. Here, I'm gonna put a... Walnut there, and a spike weed, and a marigold. 
We'll shovel the marigold later, but... For the time being, it's fine. We put a winter melon there. <laughs> yeah, that's a death trap for zombies. Okay, yeah, the free columns of sunflowers. They actually, it's working out because we put, picked so many expensive plants. And I picked tall nuts specifically because I knew that pole vaulting zombies would be coming up. Thank you, Marigold. So this is kind of like Last Stand in a way, where like you have to survive wave after wave and you can re-pick plants as you go. The difference is that in Last Stand you have a finite amount of sun that you can spend and you get more sun at the end of every lane, whereas in Survival Mode you actually can use your sun producing plants. So Survival Mode is easier. Okay, Disco Zombies actually can be a little risky because they can technically bypass the, uh, the barrier plants you set up, which is interesting. Also in the iPhone version, there's an achievement called Melony Lane for having a Winter Melon in every lane. So if this was the iPhone version, I would have just gotten that achievement. Humble brag. Cool. Now we get some bucket heads and newspaper zombies, but again, with our melon pults, this won't be a problem. So we'll bring more melon pults. Uh, we'll bring more spike weed, we'll bring tall nuts. I guess we'll bring like, yeah, we'll still bring those. We'll bring pumpkins, I guess. Why not? Pumpkins are good. Cherry bomb, jalapeno, that, doom shroom. We don't need any more winter melons. We have one in every lane. Thankfully, if you take the same plants again, like in between rounds, their charge will remain the same, so I don't have to wait for the tall nut to recharge again, which is good, because I want to put one in front of that marigold. Again, marigolds do suck, but at the same time, I guess it gives me a little extra cash. And yeah, like, look, those zombies can't do anything. Like, it should be illegal what I'm doing. I'm just gonna slowly start replacing my sunflowers with marigolds. <laughs> Because I'm already kind of at the point where the zombies aren't really going to be able to do anything to me because the melon pulse are just so ridiculously OP. But it doesn't even matter. It's fun. <laughs> yep, survival mode is definitely interesting. I can't remember how many flags. It might. I think it's plot five flags again, similar to what last stand was. Ooh, now that I think about it, there is another achievement I should probably go for. There's an achievement for having 8,000 sun in your bank at one point. And honestly, this could be a good time to try that out. Maybe. Actually, or not. It's a side achievement. I'm not going to buy any more plants at this point, so... I am going to slowly start replacing my sunflowers with marigolds, which might cut down on my sun production, but still. I'm not really going to spend any more at this point, so. Oh boy, here come the football zombies. Eh, I'm not worried about football zombies. Uh, 
Ice Shroom. I think there's an achievement, at least in the iPhone version, to use an Ice Shroom and have 20 zombies get frozen by it. So that's something you can go for as well. Ready, set, plant. Again, I don't anticipate me planting anything else. Other than the marigolds. Like, the marigolds, they're not gonna make me super rich, but it, they do add up. And I am one greedy miser, as you all know. <laughs> Yeah, I believe we have two more huge waves to go through and then we win. We got a thousand sun. So I'll be I actually will be curious to see if the sun, if the marigolds eventually just stop generating coins, because they definitely did in the iPhone version. Isn't it amusing to just see the zombies unable to do anything? Like, they're... F I guess they're not throwing the toughest zombies they can at me, but, um... They're still throwing some of the toughest. And, like, they can't even make it past... They can barely even make it to the tall nuts sometimes. And even then, it's like, well, the tall nuts have a ridiculous amount of HP. And I can heal them by planting new ones on top of them. And I can put pumpkins around them as well, so... Yeah, not much you can do. Sorry, them's the brakes. More zombies approaching, whatever will I do? Now, if eventually gargantuars start coming, that will make a bit of a difference, but I don't think they do, at least in this version. Alright. At this point, <laughs> we take marigolds. And then, yeah. Uh, I'll take planterns. I will take flower pots, I'll take lily pads, I'll take tangle kelp and uh, sea shrooms. And uh, what else? Oh, I know, grave busters. <laughs> Very useful plants. <laughs> this is the last wave, I this should be fine. Again, we've been so efficiently shutting down every zombie that... Yeah. Perhaps I misjudged Marigold a little too harshly. Like, they have made me a thousand dollars this, uh... This minigame. So I guess that is something. We'll see if Stinky can make that much. Once you get a whole field of marigolds, that is like the one time where a mag a gold magnet shroom can actually be okay. Otherwise, you would never ever use it. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna get the 8,000 sun achievement, and I think the 8,000 sun achievement is also in this version of the game. But at the very least, I'm gonna try to get every achievement in the game, even the ones that are not for this version, so... <laughs> you know me, I do, I do like to go above and beyond when it comes to things I'm passionate about. Final wave! Oh yeah, I can't wait to see your attempts. Oh man, they actually are chewing up the tall nut a little bit. That's okay, he still has two thirds of his HP left. That's the pa yeah, like, what, what are they gonna do? Nothing. 
Sure enough, five flags, that's what it took. Beautiful. And we get a new survival mode. Yeah, so there's one version of survival mode for every single different, like, basically time. So there's survival day, survival night, survival pool, survival fog, and then survival roof is gonna be after that. Well, uh, this has been pretty short, so let's keep up with the survival. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all five survival modes this video, but, eh, we'll see. So now it's nighttime, so, as always, at nighttime, you're gonna want puff shrooms and sun shrooms. That's a gotta have. Grave busters to deal with the graves. Uh, let's see. I like scaredy shrooms, at least for early on. And then we're gonna go fume shroom and, uh, gloom shroom and pumpkin and garlic. And doom shroom. And there we go. I got all them shrooms. Alright. So, survival nights should be very easy. Because, again, we got puff shrooms, which just are ridiculously good. I mean, they're free, and they have a fast recharge. Like, oof, what else do you want? So we got, I got big plans for this. Now, initially, we're going to be low on the sun. So we got to use it wisely at first. So we got to get our sun shroom supply up. I'm not going to get free columns of them, though, like I did for Survival Day. I'm just sticking with the usual two. But I got big plans for the gloom shrooms. For the money, sir. Ah, uh, I've, I've missed the night music. Moon Grains is such a good song. Like, literally every song in the game. <laughs> Would I put a pumpkin there? I'm prepping for something. Specifically a gloom shroom. So that's not good. He's already eaten a good amount of that pumpkin. Oh, but don't worry. Alright. We gotta worry about you a little bit. If we can set up our gloom shrooms properly, then uh, things are gonna go our way very, very well. Now we should start eating the graves. I believe the graves replenish uh, every wave, or at least new graves will appear pretty much every wave. So that is something to beware of. Fight my scaredy shrooms. By that I mean my one scary shroom. Make you a gloom shroom as well. Alright, you can kind of see how we're going to be doing this, right? <laughs> we're going to get two lanes of gloom shrooms, and then the zombies will just be utterly powerless to do anything. Alright, we're still definitely going to take the puff shrooms. We don't need the sun shrooms anymore, so we want... Fume and Gloom, we want Pumpkins, we want Grave Busters, we want Scaredy Shrooms. Uh, we definitely want Garlic, we might want Doom Shrooms. Honestly, <laughs> maybe Spike Weed. Already set Plant.
Oh yeah, zombies in the middle lane are gonna have no chance. Look at how fast they died at the double Gloom Shroom combo. It's almost like Gloom Shrooms are not in any way balanced. <laughs> Honestly, with the garlic, we don't even technically need the pumpkins, but there might be some zombies that come in the future that will be able to move past the pumpkins. Like, if we get disco zombies, they might be able to spawn up behind the garlic. It's possible. At this point, we're gonna clear out these lanes of puff shrooms, because we don't need them anymore. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Whatever will they do? You sound somewhat revolted. Yeah. This is, um, uh, kind of completely broken. <laughs> Of all the plants in the game, Gloom Shrooms are the most hilariously overpowered. If you can use them properly. There's a reason they did not return in future games. You could say the hallway of gloom. Oh no, a huge wave of zombies is approaching. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, you tried to kill uh, Grave Buster, but you were too late. Zombies are approaching, eh? <laughs> I am not scared. Oh, hey, yep, Disco Zombie. How did I know? Oh, no, Screen Door Zombie. When we got Gloom Shrooms, how are they uh, any good at all? The answer, they're not. Because of how laughably overpowered the Gloom Shroom combo is.
All right, there we go. <laughs> That's survival on nighttime. It, very easy. <laughs> Not a lot to say, so I'll probably fast forward that. You get the gist of it. Garlic plus Gloom Shroom equals basically unstoppable combo. And now we can go to survival in the pool. And, um, pool means one thing, cattails. Definitely take your cattails. I'm also gonna use- mm, actually, I think I'm still gonna go for the whole, uh, fume shroom, gloom shroom, garlic combo. I think it's gonna be ridiculously overpowered. So there we go! <laughs> it is a little risky doing it this way if I don't have very, pretty much any plants that can normally attack zombies outside of the really expensive ones with a slow recharge. But I don't care about that. I've got two types of plants to deal with the zombies at the beginning. I got... The <laughs> Great, I have hiccups. Got pump pumpkin. Potato mines and squash. Pumpkin mines are from Spider-Man. Yeah, so I'm gonna build up my uh, cattail supply in the water, and then I'm gonna build up my gloom shroom supply here and here, and then use garlic to divert the zombies away. It's the classic combo. Kids love it. Spadow. Do do do. There we go, we have one cattail down. The world is now our oyster. One cattail can effectively shut down, honestly, a lot of zombies. <laughs> Not a huge wave all by itself, but... Eh, pretty decent amount. It also means we can put a bunch of sunflowers in these lanes, because they're going to be Gloom Shroom occupied. Again, some of the plants that you can buy from the shop are ridiculously good. And I bought the ones that were the best first. There are still some other great ones at the store, by the way, that I haven't bought. But I bought the free most overpowered ones. Because, well, why would you not? <laughs> Honestly, my, I'm gonna build a couple more uh, sunflowers. Just a few more. Not a ton, but enough that I can just keep planting a bunch of stuff. And it's in these it's in these survival modes that you're really, that you're really gonna see the power of pumpkins. Pumpkins are incredibly useful. Alright, that's all the sunflowers we're planting. No more. Oh, perfect. We got another gloom shroom. More zombies approaching. Oh! And I got an achievement for that. Don't pee in the pool. So I didn't think you could actually get that achievement in survival mode. So that is... That's an achievement you get for clearing a daytime pool level without using any pea plants. And apparently doing it in one round of survival in the pool actually counts. So cool, yeah. The don't pee in the pool achievement is pretty tough to get on your first playthrough of adventure mode because pretty much all of your offensive plants at that point are pea shooters. 
But once you get the catapult plants from the roof, or even things like cactus, starfruit, and split pea, or not split pea, cactus and starfruit, or you can use the mushrooms in the daytime, it's not too hard. All right. Well, we're still going to continue with the whole fume shroom, gloom shroom session, and the cattails, obviously. We're going to get pumpkins as well. Those are going to be valuable. We'll get the garlic so we can replenish those. Apart from that, uh, melon poults are nice. And I think that'll be pretty much everything we need, so I guess we can go with... I guess, like, tall nut? If we need, but honestly, I don't think we need tall nut if we got pumpkins. Pumpkins are kind of busted. Like so many things in the game. Yeah, this is where the pumpkins are gonna be nice. Because again, there will be zombies that can vault over the garlic. If that's the case, we need to be ready for them. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh boy, another chocolate bar. We don't believe it! Yep, here come the pole vaulting zombies, which is why I put the pumpkins down. This is where I actually wish I had bought an imitator so I could take two gloom shrooms or two cattails so I could plant them twice as much. start putting uh, pumpkins on my cattails as well, just in case the zombies pop up in the water. Which they will. Alright, there we go. We're basically unstoppable at this point. We just gotta make sure we replenish our garlic when they run out. But yeah, like, look at how much sun we have. It's crazy. I could plant melon bolts up in the top, but I mean, hey, I think maybe I'll try going for the uh, Sunny Days achievement. And in the meantime, I think we can just fast forward the rest of it because you can get the gist of what I'm doing.
um, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it's, um, cattails and gloom shrooms and pumpkins disgustingly overpowered. Like, how, how, looking at the lawn that I had, like, how do you, how do you get past that? As the zombies, like, you can't. There's, like, nothing you can do. As, I mean, if you have a, just a, such a sheer number of zombies that they can just eat the garlic really, really quickly, then maybe you could stand somewhat of a chance, but not really. Also... Okay, I was I was about to say I'm like, you know, I remember survival mode. I remember for survival mode, you only like in the iPhone version. The first off, there was not survival hard mode. There was only survival regular mode. I remember when you played those, they you could only use a set amount of plants that they gave you. At least that's actually no wait. I might be thinking of something else. Never mind. Just ignore me. All right, next up, it's time for survival fog. Probably my least favorite world. No, definitely my least favorite world in the game. All right, we're gonna need the sun shrooms. We're gonna need puff shrooms. We're gonna need lily pads. We are going to need cattails. We want fume shrooms and gloom shrooms and whiskers on kittens. And I hate planters, but you know what? I don't really want to be using blovers all the time. So let's rock. Welcome back to Rigor Mormist. The fog levels do have some of the best music in the game. Oh, I also need to... Okay, no, never mind. Just remember, digger zombies will be showing up, but because we have pumpkins, we can just put up pumpkins on the back of our uh, little sun shrooms. And we should have no problems. But yeah, beginning is going to be pretty much the usual. We're going to be putting Puff Shrooms and our Sun Producers down. Puff Shrooms can take out the first couple of zombies pretty easily all by themselves. Eventually we'll light up the area and we're going to do the Gloom Shroom Garlic combo because it's absurdly overpowered. Not click off screen. I don't really want to put a build in the water yet. First cattail. <laughs> or it's all it's all gone now. Oh, how lovely! It's a, it's a planter. Oh, guess what we're gonna be doing. I'm confident the cattail can effortlessly take out that road cone aquatic zombie. No problem. Yeah, normally I don't like planterns because they die. You have to put them too close to the front, so they normally die easily. But in a survival mode, uh, we can we can make make it work. I like being able to see. Ooh, wow, a lot of zombies showing up in the bottom of there, okay? <laughs> what, you think I'm scared? Nope, not even close. I'll put a pumpkin there, for safety's sake. Come on, 
Don't give me another Phoenix Sun. There we go. Hello, Gloom Shroom. And bada beam. This should be amusing. Oh boy, okay, we got ladder zombies. That actually will be annoying because once the ladders are set down, they can climb over the Okay. So we will be getting some magnet shrooms then. That's no problem. We'll get us some magnet shrooms. Maybe some plant maybe we'll rearrange where the planterns go. And we'll need to replenish some garlic, most likely. Y'all know the drill at this point. <laughs> what was the point of the fog rolling in? Okay, this also means that if the ladder guys are coming, we're going to need to put pumpkins on our gloom shrooms, because they can... Actually, no, wait, the ladder zombies don't go over the garlic! Oh, I'm being a paranoid Peter. Survival Fog is completed. Nice and easy. Again, the Gloom Shroom combo is just absurd. And we get the final survival mode. Well, we have Survival Roof. But then we've got the nighttime and uh, daytime Survival Hard modes. Yeah. Survival Hard mode, I... I'll be curious to see what that's like. Because thus far, these Survival modes have been incredibly laughably easy. I even forgot to bring garlic on one of those waves. And I still destroyed them. Okay. Now we're on the roof. So, Gloom Shroom combos will not be as viable. But that's okay. You know, I want to I want to change it up a bit. Let's go back to the <laughs> to the Winter Melon Melon Bolt combo. Now that is that one is good. Let's get some umbrella leaves. Cuz there will be bungee zombies. They don't show them, but there will be bungee zombies. That should be kind of good, honestly. So, I'll bring Pumpkins, and I guess I'll bring potato mines as well. Ah, yeah. Time for the roof. Yeah, I've used the Gloom Shroom combo, I think, a little too much. 
And I'm definitely, I think I'm gonna have to take advantage of it in hard mode, so let's show off some alternate strategies, shall we? <laughs> Plant our potatoes in these flower pots. Very cost effective way of dealing with the zombies. And we can build up off sunflower supply. I'm just making sure I plan for where I'm putting my umbrella leaves. Which is why I'm leaving the gaps in there. Just slowly saving up for the melon pulse. Now we can start bringing out the big guns. This is why potato lines are so nice. <laughs> They're so cheap and they can just do the job perfectly. Who cares if they're not super viable long term? They help you out so much at the beginning, it's worth it. Again, getting the winter melon, because again, taking advantage of the fact that the winter melon has an incredibly slow recharge. So I want to take advantage of it as much as I possibly can. And I've got potato mines, and I've got squash to deal with the zombies as they come. For example, down here, I'll put a potato mine. Then up here, I'll be able to put down a melon pole. That is not where I wanted the melon pole, but that's okay. We got a squash. actually wanted to put the melon bolt there. I'm also keeping an eye on that meter because as the huge wave approaches, I need to make sure I put my umbrella leaves down to protect my melon bolts. Otherwise, I am big doo-doo. squash and potato mine. They can work together and make a very good team. Because, the guys, again, the zombies just come out at such a slow rate. Okay, now I need to start putting down my umbrella leaves. That may have been a little too slow. Nope, not quite. I don't care if they take my sunflowers. See, told you... So those were the dropping bungee zombies, not even the regular bungee zombies. So the game will tell you if regular bungee zombies show up, the ones that actually pick up your plants, but they don't ever let you know if they're the bungee zombies that just drop the zombies on top of you. Maybe it's because the dropping bungee zombies don't technically count as a zombie type, but are instead kind of like a unique stage gimmick? I don't really know. You can eat the pot if you want. Never mind, you weren't even able to do that. Alright, we got free winter melons down in one go. That's pretty great. Oh boy! Poco zombies already? Alright, so we'll need more umbrella leaves. We'll need melon pullets and winter melons. We'll get the pumpkins. Actually, not the pumpkins out. I'm actually gonna want magnet shrooms, maybe tall nuts. We're in some kernel pulse just in case, and squash. Squash are always good.
that survival roof done. Man, Doom Shroom just wrecks everything. All right. Regular survival mode is now done. So now we will have survival hard mode. And then I believe that last one is survival endless. Now here's the thing. There's one set of games from the iPhone version that I haven't seen yet. And those are... Last Stand. Now, there's the one-off Last Stand minigame, but the iPhone version eventually added, like, Last Stand mode, where there would be Last Stand Daytime, Last Stand Nighttime, Last Stand Pool, all of that, and then Last Stand Endless. And Last Stand Endless was my favorite way to play the game, because you could get so much money that way, and you... <laughs> let's just say it was awesome. I really hope that's still in this. That would be a very... That would be a great shame if it wasn't. Alright, back to our Zen Garden, and then we call it a video. I am disappointed in Stinky. He is not, as far unless unless he is collecting money for me, but it's just not telling me that he is. Then I am disappointed. But maybe he actually is uh, lining my pockets because I do have a lot of money. Like I have, I think close to thirty thousand now, and I entered that mode with less than twenty thousand. I think so. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Because in the iPhone version, what is supposed to happen is the guys who are happy and glowing are drop coins and Stinky picks them up. And then when you go back to Zengard, it's like, oh, while you were gone, Stinky picked up like 7,000 coins. Which is really, really good. Oh, well, at the very least, with our Zengard implants, we got a couple of uh, mystery plants while playing survival mode. So that should be interesting. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put survival hard mode on hold for a bit. Because I think at this point I want to go through adventure mode 2. Because that's going to be... It's been a while since we've done adventure mode and we literally just went through a bunch of the survival stuff. So I'll save survival hard mode for later. And then we'll do the endless modes kind of last, I think. Because the endless mode should be the toughest modes of the game. I really hope that Last Stand Endless is still in this, because it's such a good game. Such a good game. Alright, we got a Scaredy Shroom. Interesting. Give me more of that fertilizer. Oh yeah, look at all that money. Okay, yeah. Those guys, the guys that are happy... The guys who are happy are generating coins. So I think Stinky is picking them up, but he's just... It's not telling me that he is. So here you go, Stinky. Have another piece of chocolate. I have 30,000 coins right now. Now that we're here, let's go to the shop, see who can purchase. I'm, I don't need the 10 seed slots. That's fine. But I want to buy some more of these super plants. I am going to buy... The Cobb Cannon. Plant these on your kernel bolts to turn them into Cobb Cannons. Click on a Cobb Cannon to launch a deadly attack. These are crazy good, but very impractical on most levels. I'll buy those, and Spike Rock is also going to be very good. Spike Rock is one of those plants that is very, very, very useful. It's not quite to the same level as, like, Winter Melons, Gloom Shrooms, or Cattails, but Spike Rocks are nuts. They're very, very good. All right, I think at that point, that settles it for this episode. This was a longer one, but if I speed up most of that footage, it should be probably just a still good length episode. But here you go, you get some extra content. Next time on Plants vs. Zombies, we're trying Adventure Mode a second time. We'll be going through all of the Adventure Mode a second time, but there is a slight twist. It's a little bit tougher, I believe, and there's also a, a gimmick behind it that you're going to see. So... Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.